Okay, I think we're all set. What do you guys think of the new Fortnite blanket here? Nice and comfy, cozy there. Uh, getting colder up here in New York. Anybody up here up north, up in New York, let us know in the comment section. Say what's up. And uh, anybody else enjoying the warm weather, warmer weather than we got, let us know where you're at and what your weather's looking like. Promise, won't get jealous. <laughs> so anyways, uh, for those of you just tuning in or may not know who I am, my name is Chris and you're watching Buffalo Eastgate right now. And we're going to be doing quite a bit of videos revolving around the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Quest 2 coming up here as far as side-by-side -side comparisons, a little bit of tips, tricks, mods, things like that, maybe some gameplay, anything you guys would like to specifically see. Let us know in the comment section of this video and we'll try to get working on it, see if we can get it up. But today we're going to specifically talk about the Facebook bans, whether or not you should be worried about it, whether or not uh, multiple people are able to play on the headsets as well as be logged in on multiple headsets with the one account or multiple people in the one game or whatnot. And everything else so we're gonna get right into it why the confusion now the confusion all happened due to a screenshot taken of a conversation between a Facebook customer service rep and a person that was having an issue and they screenshotted the conversation and posted it and in that conversation from the Facebook rep it stated that the person could not have two headsets said that they couldn't have two accounts that they they would need to have different accounts for the different headsets and they can't have two accounts because they would go against the Facebook terms and service so ultimately they wouldn't be able to have two headsets and the only way around that would be to factory reset the headsets back and forth which a would get annoying pretty quickly and b still put the person at risk of being banned locked out of the account whatever it is so Facebook ended up replying after that stating that the information was not correct there was a error it was a misrepresentation of what the reality is and the reality of the situation is you can have two or more headsets underneath one account you can have two or more people playing on the headsets on the same game underneath one account and there are at least a handful of games right now that currently support to where you could have multiple people playing on multiple headsets on one account and play in that game against one another or together or whatever it is we'll probably do a video listing what games are compatible with that now as far as the other games that are not compatible with that you still are able to play with both headsets either one that you would choose or even both at the same time or maybe like a couple seconds apart so the one logs in first possibly um, but what we've found with a little bit of testing we've done is that we are able to log in the, the games and play with both headsets under one account, but we wouldn't be able to necessarily play, say, against one another or on the same team. So we'd be able to play the same game, but we'd be in our own matches. So then this way we're still able to play and we're not at risk of being locked out. We don't have multiple accounts or anything else. So figured we do this quick video try to just give you guys a little bit of clarity on the situation at least let you know what our personal experience is and what's happened with our situation as I said uh, we have one account I had to make a brand new account to be able to link it to the oculus account and once I knew that my Facebook and my oculus accounts were linked then I put my oculus account and or Facebook account in the brand new headset Everything's been fine ever since. We are able to use both headsets with no issue. We are, <clears throat> we are able to play on the same games, no issue. But as I said, the games that do, don't support it, you have to play like in your own matches or whatever. But other than that, you still are able to play no problems so far, no issues. Again, I wanted to get this video up hopefully to help somebody, some people out there that might be wondering what's going on, might be worried about the situation, everything else. We're going to be doing some videos speaking about jailbreaking headsets, whether that is a possibility or not, and what's going to be going on with that, as well as some other stuff like the big one, which is going to be playing 
uh, Steam games, no PC, no PC required. So that's huge, and I'm really excited for that. I definitely am going to be getting a video up talking about that, uh, how you got to go about doing that, what you need, everything else. And like I said, that is just sick. You're able to take this, no cords, no nothing. You can play them higher graphic, higher resolution games, and you don't got to be plugged into nothing. You can be portable still, no gaming computer required, or nothing. So. If you like the video, found it informative, or you'd like to see the rest of the videos, make sure you let us know in the comment section, and smash that like, subscribe bell icon to know as soon as we get the videos up, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.